Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, this is take two because I screwed it up the first time, but that's okay. Um, that's that's what I'm trying to help you guys avoid. So, uh, long story short, I got a lot of good feedback from people about my how I edit my podcast using Audacity uh, video. And so I, I have recently switched from Audacity. And so I'm making a video uh, for two reasons. Uh, th this is for Reaper, uh, making this so that people who use Reaper can learn some of the tricks and tips that I've learned along the way. And so people, if you are watching this and you know more than me, please feel free to let me know down below uh, tips and tricks that I should know. Uh, so uh, real quick, uh, an overall uh, explanation of Reaper. Uh, Reaper is software that you can buy, but you can also use it for free if you want to just try it out. Um, one thing th that I want to talk about real quick is that I have already finished recording my latest episode of the podcast. Um, if you just real quick, if you want to know how to record using um, Reaper, it's very, very easy. When you start up Reaper, it's not going to have an audio file there already. In fact, it'll look a lot more like this just without that audio file. Okay. Um, but if you just hit insert new track and then arm the track when you start recording, and uh, that does it for it for us today. Sorry, I Don't forgot to mute something. When you start recording, you can see that every time I start talking, you can see the waveform being made right there. Um, if I stop talking, you can see that the waveform kind of stops for a little bit. Uh, again, I don't need that. So when I'm done, I hit stop. I'm no longer recording. If I was going to use what I had just recorded, I would just hit save all. But since I'm not, I'm just going to hit delete all and it gets rid of that file. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this track because I don't need this track. So I had already gone through and done the recording that I needed to do uh, for uh, for my podcast. By the way, if you didn't know my podcast, it's Nintendo Switchcraft, obviously all about Nintendo. And you can find that over at runjumpstomp.com. So let's talk about all of the things that I do each time. And this is going to take a little bit of time. But keep in mind that even though it's taking me this time to do it, it's because, first of all, I'm new at it. Secondly, I'm talking about what I'm doing while I'm doing it. So that kind of slows things down. And thirdly, I'm trying to make sure I don't go too fast because I had to watch some tutorials uh, for this many times in order to really understand what exactly was happening here. So let's start by talking about noise removal. Every room that you're ever going to record in, unless you're recording in a real studio, is going to have some kind of noise in the background. Maybe it's a fan, like I've got a ceiling fan going, or your computer fan is going, or um, you know a car driving by, that kind of thing. Although the car driving by isn't really going to you're not going to be able to get rid of that as easily. Um, but the overall room tone, and every time you record, uh, the room tone needs to be recorded too. And you need to be able to isolate it. So what I always do is I just record about 10 seconds of the room without saying anything. And then I kind of can get a picture of what does that room sound like. So that's what I'm going to do first is go ahead and get that picture of what that room sounds like. In order to get that picture, I'm gonna use something called Refer. So I go to FX, and under FX, I find, uh, I go under all plugins to Cocos, and then Refer. And then once I open that up, I've got this. And I know that a lot of this stuff is gonna look intimidating if you don't know your way around a digital audio workstation like me. I don't really, like, I only know what I've picked up so far, and it's very little. Uh, so what, once you're in this mode, you, we want to set this to subtract because we're trying to subtract the noise out of our recording. In, in fact, before we before we get there, let me just hit play on this, and we'll listen. And you can see right here there's some noise in the recording. I want to get rid of that noise, that noise that's always there. So I'm going to set this to subtract. I'm going to say automatically build the noise, noise profile, not the nose profile. Okay. And I hit play. And now it is recording 
or, or looking at that audio and analyzing it and making sure that it can get rid of it. So now I've got a picture of what this room sounds like. And now I just hit automatically build noise, noise, noise profile. And it's going to take this red line and subtract it from the rest of my uh, recording, which is very, very handy to do. So now I've got that first part done. Uh, next, I take my segments and start putting them together. When I record, I record a segment, I hit the stop button, I skip forward a few seconds, and then I record the next segment. And the reason that I do that is because I like to be able to have each segment in its own little thing. If I can't think of, because I don't I have a script ahead of time, uh, and if I can't think of a segue in the middle of this, I don't sit down and think about segues ahead of time. If, if one comes off the cuff and works, then I will use it and, and move along. But if I can't think of a good segue, all I do is I just stop recording, drop in a sound effect, move into the next segment afterwards. And that's how I end up doing it. Uh, so let me show you how to um, edit the segments in, in a way that is going to be useful to you, or at least it's useful to me. Uh, so the first thing I do now that I've got that picture of what the audio sounds like, let me zoom in on this. Scrolling up, uh, the scroll wheel zooms in. And I'm just gonna drag this over to the beginning uh, using the Alt button and scrolling up and down on the mouse. Let me let you scroll left and right. And you can see this little line here. That's where it's going to snap. Now you can turn off snapping, but I kind of like snapping, so I leave it on. So this is the new beginning. The old beginning was was 10 seconds earlier. So now I'm just gonna drag this over. And we'll go to the end. And I'm gonna drag this over there. And jump, stomp. Uh, let me unmute. Jump, stomp. So there's the end of my intro. And uh, what I wanna do is I wanna find a, uh, a, a little audio clip. And I have a bunch of audio clips that I've saved up. Um, so right here, I will go to, um, let's see, I can do the Hetsu song from Breath of the Wild. Uh, that's too long. I want something smaller, like maybe this. Oh, no, 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 that, I don't want that either. Um, uh, maybe this. That's really quiet. Let me turn up my... All right. And I think that's the sound, that, that, that sound works for me. So I'm going to grab this, drag it up, I'm going to put it right there. And now I'm going to zoom in. And, and if I hold down control and zoom, I can make it taller. And that makes it easier for me to see if they're about the same um, size. Uh, the waveforms are about the same size. This one looks a little quieter to me. And if I look, watch right here. Jump, stomp. <laughs> All right, so that one... Uh, on the left, uh, this one over here, and that got quiet or loud. Jump, stomp. Yeah, this peaks much lower. So all I do is I just double click it, and I'm right here is the volume. I'm just gonna turn it up a little bit. Apply, and as I look, that looks to be a little bit better, but maybe a little bit more. And that's probably better. Uh, now you'll notice that if I drag these and I stop right there, that's fine, but I can also drag them on top of each other. And now I've got what's called crossfading, where the left track is getting quieter and the right track is getting louder. And I can adjust that if I want, but it does it automatically and I figure I'll just leave it alone. Um, the only issue with this is that I've got a, a little bit of silence at the beginning. So now, jump stomp and it, it, it perfectly uh cross fades between the two really really easily with no work from me uh so now i'm gonna zoom out and we've got another segment right here i'm gonna get rid of the silence at the beginning of the segment and drag it over zoom in overlap them let's see how it sounds episode 217 that seems good to me. Uh, so now I've got that. Uh, this is an ad right here. And I'm going to bring in some music. Um, 
because between the intro and the actual show, I usually put a little bit of music uh, as intro music, basically. Um, so I'm going to grab a song by Slime Girls, uh, Astro, Astro Skeleton, and I'm going to do this on a separate track. Okay. And when you click on it, it plays uh, a, a like it, it plays it right down here on the bottom so you can hear what it's like but I, I had already decided that I was gonna bring this song on so I don't have to worry about that uh, but you'll notice that this is much like look at the waveform is so much bigger than this one so I'm gonna double click that and I'm gonna I'm gonna make it quieter um, not quite that quieter that's probably better <laughs> Now, you'll notice that that's loud. I don't want it to be that loud. Amazon and Prime. if I'm talking, included in your subscription, like it's, and it's kind of hard to hear to what I'm watch. saying. So this is where we have to do something called sidechain compression. And sidechain compression is a really, really cool thing, also known as ducking. Basically, I can set it up so that every time that this track, the, vo the vocal track, starts talking, every time that I start talking, this track, the music track, will automatically get quieter. And it's really, really easy to do. Uh, and it makes, it makes your podcast sound a little more professional, I think. So um, the first thing that I do is I go up here to my route and I'm gonna click and drag. And now I've got like this little uh, plug, like an audio plug, and I'm gonna drop it on that track. And I'm just gonna set this over to channels three and four, and I will say it is pre-FX. And I'm done. Okay, so that says that this track is going to look at this track. Okay, and I know that this seems like a lot of work, but when you're when you're doing it uh, and you do it over and over, you're going to get real, real fast at it. So now I've got that routed correctly. I'm going to go into the FX. Okay, and I'm going to use compression. So sidechain compression means that it's it's going to look at, at something that's beside it and compress based on what is happening over there. All right. So I'm going to use compression and I hit OK. And then here's my tools for compression. Uh, let me explain what each one of these does. Uh, well, let me explain what the ones that I mess with do. Uh, we have compression basically takes a loud sound and quiets it down and takes a quiet sound and brings it up so that it's compressing the size of your audio waveform. So if your audio waveform is this big, it can compress it so that it's only this big. That way people aren't turning up and down their volume all the time because that get, can get really annoying. All right, so pre-compressing means that it looks at the other waveform and it says, okay, he's gonna start talking in a second. Let's start quieting things down before he starts talking. And I usually set that to 100 milliseconds, okay? The attack, is how fast does it react when it hears that I start talking before it compresses things? And I set that to 100. And you're gonna have to mess around with it to find your own levels. The release, that's how long after do I, how long after I stop talking does it shut off the compression and bring things back up? And I usually set that to 1,000. That way, if I stop for a second to, to think, it doesn't like get loud while I'm thinking and then quiet back down. You want it to be more smooth. And I used to have to do this stuff manually in, in Audacity, but now I can do it um, automatically here. And I know that there's a ways to do it easy in Audacity as well, but this is much easier and, and uh, I think it does a better job. All right, the ratio is how much do you want it to compress? Uh, so I'm going to say 10 to one. Uh, that means that for every one decibel that I go up, or I'm sorry, for every 10 decibels that I go up, only go up one decibel. And again, you're gonna have to find your own way to do that, okay? Uh, and then finally, right here, my detector input, this is why I routed this over to channels three and four because those are our auxiliary inputs, okay? So now this is saying you're going to be detecting this based on this audio, and then you're going to compress this audio based on what you detect. Hopefully that makes sense. So now I'm gonna start playing. In addition to that, you'll also get Twitch Prime. Uh, that's included in your subscription. 
and then you can use that to and you'll notice Twitch none of the compression is happening ads, yet uh, get free but stuff now it is from Twitch like every month they put out some free so stuff. that means every and, time that this uh, green addition, line goes above this the compression uh, kicks in that may be. and so that again, really that can improve is things so this is Amazon uh, this is what it sounds like without the compression let me show. unmute it thank you Oh, okay. I had it. <laughs> it's still going. Sorry about that. In addition to that, you'll also All right, so get this is what it product. sounds like. Uh, that's Let me turn this down. Your subscription, and then you can use that to watch Twitch uh, without any ads. Uh, get free stuff. And then this is with compression. Like every month, they put out some free stuff. And it sounds much addition, better. But I almost think that I need to lower it some more. Uh, whoever that may be. So again, that URL is And then watch when I stop talking, slash it's going to come up the audio will come back up. Directly support the show. Thank you. See how that works? It's nice and smooth. All right. So that's uh let me shut that off. That's sidechain compression. I've got that compressed, but I still think it's a little too loud. And what I'm going to do is I am going to put on a thing that will make this slowly get quieter. This is called an envelope. So I'm going to come right here with my mouse and I'm just going to drag this over and there's my envelope. So that means that overall you can see right here the waveform is getting quieter, but I want that to happen faster. So I'm going to right click on my envelope and I'm going to change the shape of it. So now it gets quieter much faster. Let's see what that sounds like. Twitch uh, without any ads. Uh, get free stuff from Twitch like every month they and we'll come back over here and what I'm looking at down here is this is peaking around negative six and if I go back to where I talk free shipping you get movies, this is pe you get peaking movies, around negative six as well so that looks lots good and lots of different things they have a fantastic return so now let's see what happens when I start talking again so famous last words. Uh, See I how it drops right down like that? This is going to be very, a very useful. Now. Um, Almost every time that I say that. So now that I've got that out of the way, uh, what I want to do is I want to bring it, I want it to fade out even a little bit faster. So I'm just making the song a little shorter. It's not going to play the whole song. It'll eventually fade out and you won't be able to hear anything anymore. So famous last words, uh, I think. And I think overall that sounds pretty damn good. All right. So now that I've got all that stuff out of the way, the rest of this is super, super easy. What is this right here? Um, I don't think I put those two things together. Let me just move these over. Be getting uh, a lot more of them. Let me know. All right. So now all I do is I put in sound effects between each segment. So let's do that real quick. Um, go into my Media Explorer. I'm going to grab a sound effect. Um, podcast audio, sound effects, commercials. Uh, we'll stop that. Uh, we'll go with Castlevania. You can't hear it. Let me crank it up. All right. That, that works for me. I like that sound song. Um, I don't know how long it is. That's going to fit. And then we'll have that crossfade and let's check it out. Let me know. So if you're watching. So if you're watching the YouTube video. And you notice that it gets really. Uh, it, it just takes care of the crossfading automatically. So now I'm just scrolling. Here's another blank space. Oh, um, I hate it when I do that. So I'm going to scroll to the next blank space, which is here, I believe. Yep, we've got we've got a blank space here. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that beginning. Get rid of that end. Grab another sound effect. When you've lost your last man, hold A and B to continue where you left off. Do this before the title screen appears. There you go. All right. Oh, man, that's the wrong button. There we go. So I'm going to bring that in, but I think that's too long. So what I need to do is I want to move everything after this over. So over here, this is the ripple editing. 
Uh, right now it's disabled. I'm going to enable it per track. And that means that I can move everything over like that, which makes things much easier. So now I can grab this hold A and B. I can drop it right there. I can zoom in and I can bring it over. And then I'm going to turn off the ripple editing. I can bring this over. I zoom back in. Let's see how that sounds. Fantastic. And I can't wait to check them out. That was a little too fast. So let's slow the, slow it down. Can't wait to check them out. That's better. When you've lost your last man, hold A and B to continue where you left off. Do this before the title screen appears. All right, we've got a... All right, All right. We... hold on. All right, we... Stop it. All right, we've got... All right, gonna cut off that. Bring this in. Green appears. All right, we've got a... Tw there we go. And now I'm gonna zoom out. Scroll over till the next blank. There's our blank. I'm gonna grab another song. We're gonna do, or not song, but uh, a little sound effect from an old commercials or something. Atari introduces the woman of the year, Ms. Pac-Man. Atari introduces the woman of the year. That works. I'll drop that right there. I'm gonna zoom, oh, I did it again. Um, it, wherever your, your track head is, that's where you're gonna zoom into. So always try and put your track head where you want it before you start hit that scroll button. Because otherwise, when you zoom in, it's going to screw you up. Expect now. Atari introduces the woman of the year. And let's grab the next track. Bring it over. Zoom in. And cut off the beginning. Overlap. Is so I talked about this before. There we go. We got that done. We are almost done editing this podcast. Um, well, I did it again. Dang it. Um, at least the uh, the time-consuming part of it. Uh, I still have some audio stuff to fix. Um, let's see. We're going to go with this. No, that's too quiet. I don't want that. I might delete that. Buy the Sega Genesis that comes with Sonic 1 and get Sonic 2 free. Act now. Buy the Sega Genesis that... There we go. So I'll move this over. Sonic 2 free goes right there. And... We'll just have those overlap. And then we'll click over here, zoom out, grab this, zoom in. And we'll get rid of the beginning. Free act now. And that does it for it for. All right, there we go. We've got the episode done. Now there is some more stuff that I need to do here. So now I'm going to. Uh, this is another reason why uh, I like Reaper a lot more than Audacity, and that is the the fact that I can EQ it live. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open up my FX. Uh, there's my noise filter. Uh, I'm going to add in re-EQ or Reaper Equalizer. And I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to do this to this track. So this is doing it to the whole track. Uh, and I'm going to hit play. Game. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. And now you can that I'm see the overall it. waveform. Uh, this is quiet from this the down. 80s. This old submarine arcade. So game now you can hear me talking over it. Uh, I'm going to shut up for a bit, and I'm just going to avoid uh, uh, adjust this. I even feel like I remember that there was like a little, uh, like a thing that you would put your face up to in order to look through the the periscope of the submarine in that arcade game. Maybe it was called periscope, but I don't think so. That's not as important, but that's what the controls kind of look like. And uh, then. So this basically, on the left-hand side, I brought up the low end, make my voice a little fuller. I brought up the high end so that it doesn't sound too muffled. And then I just kind of adjusted overall like the, these two until I was happy with the sound. Once I'm happy with the sound, I'm done. That does it for the entire track. Um, whereas before, I would have, in, in Audacity, I would... <clears throat> I would uh, select the whole track, hit EQ, listen to it. Oh no, undo.
do it again. And it was kind of a hassle. This is so much easier because you can do it like right on the fly. And it makes it sound really, really nice. Uh, so I've got that done. Um, I, I use hardware compression on my uh, mixer, so I don't have to do any compression on this. Uh, however, if you did have to do some compression on this, you could easily just go in and use recomp and then add compression if you needed to, but I don't need it. So I'm just going to get rid of that because I don't, I don't have any need for it. All right. Now, another reason why this is really good software is because it's non-destructive editing software. So this file right here has not been edited, even though it's changed, the original file is still there. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it. So now I've got two copies of the same song, but I want to do things opposite. I'm going to still, I'm, I still I leave on the side chain compression, but this, um, this envelope that I have, I'm going to get rid of it. I want to go the opposite way with the envelope. So now instead of getting quieter, it's going to slowly get louder. And I'm going to bring it in over here. And now let's play the end. A link to their stuff over at runjumpstomp.com. We're hanging out in the live chat. You guys are awesome. And the show just would not be the same without you. So let's go ahead and hit through them. We've got uh, Bananaan, um, Bloodluster, uh, Decaf Smurf, uh, Dpats96, Caden Sidious, uh, Lil Diabetic, uh, Lumberjoke 2, Mikey B. Playing, Mr. Cool Red Luigi, Mr. Pokemon, TF Wagner, Trev125, and Wyvern Rip Snarl. You guys are awesome. Thank you for hanging out with me. I will see you all next time. That will be on Tuesday. Uh, have a good one. Bye bye. So now the music's going to slowly get louder, and then you can see here that it's going to it's going to quiet out. But I think that blank right there is the end. So. Now it's going to start getting quieter. There you go. We're done. We got an episode all finished. It's it, and it like this episode or this uh, video is 27 minutes long, but that took way longer than it would normally take me just because I was talking about it the whole time. So the last thing I do is I say, uh, well, oh, you know what? I haven't saved in a while, so I'm going to hit save and then I hit uh, render and on here, I'm going to switch this from I'm going to go browse. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to go browse and I'm going to that's finished episode. So that's where I save it. It's already got it named. I'm going to switch it over to mono and I'm going to switch it to MP3. And then I just hit render one file. And now it's rendering it. And when it's all done, because we don't need it to be in stereo, but when it's all done, uh, I upload it and we're all set. So anyway, that is the process of me going through and editing in audacity. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out with me and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.